So scenario based questions are very important in any DevOps, cloud, AWS, Azure interview. First, we have to understand why these scenario based questions are asked. So the reason that interviewer is asking you, giving you random scenarios is to assess your analytics ability, understand the depth of your uh, skill set that you really can take action in case of you are given a random situation. And actually, it, it sometimes help them differentiate between two or three candidates. People who give right answer in the scenario based questions are actually uh, given preference, even if the other people have you know, certifications or any such uh, information, which is not really valuable and not really very, uh, they can track it. So they, they try to validate through these scenarios. So now, since we know why those are asked and most of the time they are there and they are usually very differentiated uh, and can be like very useful to make it a yes or no between a candidate. So how do you handle it? Instead of giving you uh, two or three scenarios or something like that, I want to give you a, a breakdown of uh, how you can handle probably any uh, such scenario. So just watch this video and see if this helps in, in your future interviews or not. So first question, uh, first thing that you can do immediately after that is to uh, ask a lot of uh, cross questions. Like usually scenario-based question allows you to ask some questions to the, to the other person to understand the scenario. If you don't ask any questions, if you just jump to a decision, that usually is a deal breaker. That means that you have not analyzed the situation. So the cross questions, I won't give you an example, but like uh, we'll not talk about a specific scenario, but any relevant question that seems comes to your mind, try to ask that. If he's asking that your uh, one of our production server was um, crashed or just think servers are Windows, Linux or Think of any such question, what could be relevant in that there. It could be a stupid question. Usually a stupid question will still get away because you are trying to analyze something. But if you hit the right question, the right analysis uh, question, trust me, that will go a very long way that, that can again help you to secure that job because you are asking the right question. So ask a bunch of questions. Make sure they are relevant. Uh, uh, if it is database related question or uh, ask them which version, which flavor of uh, RDS or which type of database it is. Is it self-managed or is it AWS managed? Uh, how many availability zone it was hosted in? Uh, what was its backup strategy? So just talk about such uh, scenarios that are relevant to you. And obviously you will analyze in it on the fly. Uh, then try to analyze the scenario. See if you have encountered this kind of scenario in past. See if any of your certification had uh, this kind of scenario because you will then start gathering information that, okay, this is database outage related stuff. It is performance related stuff because then the thoughts around that scenario will start, you know, uh, you will start creating a sort of draft of that uh, solution, but still you will not answer it. You will... Then next stage is that you start to identify the services that are suitable for this scenario. Not all services are relevant or uh, for, for all the scenarios. So if the scenario is database related, you will start to understand that, okay, if I fix this with AWS managed database, if I fix this problem with a specific service, try to create those service options, have your pen and paper handy and try to write down two or three services which do you, which you think are actually relevant to that scenario. Uh, again, it all depends on the question that is in the in the uh, analysis that have been you have been asked to analyze. If it is improving the performance of database, you the scenario is that you have been asked to uh, that the site is slow on a specific day. Then you ask what monitoring systems do you have in place? What is the capacity of the server? So that kind of relevant question and identify uh, whether caching can help it. Is, is caching a solution to uh, that problem? Any cloud front or where the users are hosted? So after asking those questions, you try to identify two or three services which are relevant for that scenario. And then you start to answer the question. And when you are trying to answer the question, don't say that this is exactly what you do. Say that 
from your experience, you think there are multiple things that can be done for this kind of question. You think that you will analyze these two or three options and then you will zero down on to one specific thing, but try to give them a generic answer that these are the multiple options possible. And if any of that option is what that person or their company has implemented, you again have a good opportunity to uh, to you know score good in that interview because you are asking the if you have asked the right questions that itself was positive and if you give your answer in such a way that one of the option uh, is relevant to them then again it's it's a, a very good uh, opportunity so scenario based questions are actually if you look at them they are very good at uh, you know giving you multiple opportunities to score uh, some better points in the interview so make use of this a lot of people are scared of this how to manage this and that kind of thing so i always suggest like look at case studies look at uh, implementing slightly complex projects in your day-to-day uh, -day life even if you have not worked in the organization look at those different labs L labs are usually to solve a specific problem so there are aws labs azure labs even if you don't implement them end to end try to understand that they are created for a specific situation to bring caching into solution to any, do any cost optimization or DevSecOps security related stuff. So those labs are usually for a specific scenario. Try to understand that uh, as well. And always give multiple options. Always keep it generic in nature. Try to relate it to something you have done. If that that's another opportunity, if you have done that kind of thing, bring that, yes, we encountered this issue. We have seen that this happens in the production and this is how we resolved it, but there are multiple options and we evaluated those options. So if you go with this strategy for all your scenario-based questions, I'm sure you will uh, nail the interviews uh, pretty quickly and with, with great confidence. Wish you luck and uh, stay subscribed to the channel. Uh, we, will, we keep bringing this kind of information all the time and uh, see you on the uh, next video.